Hi, welcome back to ZW3D Design Tutorial. It's Ben. In the last lesson, you've learned some basic operations in ZW3D. And this time, you will learn sketch settings, how to draw the sketch, how to define the dimension and constraint, and some sketch skills. So let's get started. First, settings. Open the software. Choose the tab Tools, find Settings column, and click Preference. In this dialog, you can set the sketch unit as MM. Some general parameters could be set in configuration if you would like to customize them. Second, Drawing Sketch. There are some basic commands of sketch such as line, circle, point, point curve. Besides, there are some key commands including quick draw, trace profile, ready sketch, and ready sketch test. Let's do a case. No doubt, the first step is to create a new parts file. Here we name it as training sketch. Check the units. The default unit is mm. Insert the sketch from the right menu, pick the XY plane, click the middle mouse button, check the sketch unit again. It's mm, the same as the path setting. Unpick the second option. No problem, OK. Check the configuration. Choose 2D tab. Unpick some constraint options. Then switch to File Table. Define the working file folders as you like. OK. Back to the Sketch tab, you can see Drawing, Curve, Edit Curve, and other columns. Let's draw something. How about double line? Pick these points and pick these settings options to create a closed geometry with arc and change these values to finish. OK, here it is. Let's try rectangle. Pick two points, move your mouse, done. Very easy. Slot geometry. Define two center points and radius. Done. For point curve, just need to pick some points in any position. Double click to modify it. For example, modify position. Select the control point to change it. Change the other one. During this process, pick this option to display curvature comp. Then curve information will be more intuitive. Create an offset curve in both directions. Also, there is equation curve, providing several different types. Double-click to select it, and then define a new location. This is the helical curve. All of these operations are easy to learn. The following section will introduce the quick draw. Firstly, create a new file. Name it Quick Draw. OK. Click Draw. Directly select points to draw lines. Here, you draw a triangle. There are other options for you. The second type is Tangent Arcs. You draw a line first, left click to change the control condition and then draw tangent arcs. The third type is three-point arc. Pick the first point, press Alt button on your keyboard to define the second. Directly pick the third. The fourth type is circle. Press Alt to define the center point and then select 
a boundary point. The fifth type is radius arc. Pick the first point, press out for second point, and then input the radius. Then move your mouse to find the shape you want. The sixth type is spline curve. Select the first point and press out for second and third point. Then directly pick other points. Also, you can double click to edit it. Next, we will introduce the trace profile. Again, create a new file, name it trace profile. Insert sketch, choose XY plane. Now draw a rectangle by two points. Add circle geometry. And then do it again on the other side. Now add dimensions. The length is 200. The radius for the right circle is 60. Then add constraint. Locate center point on the line. Close the window. Now create a trace profile. Select the position point. This blue profile is created to be trace profile. Axis sketch. Here, extrude this sketch to make a model. Define the extrude value. Continue to add another sketch. Select the top face. Create a ready sketch. For example, octagon. Define the base point. Select the dimension to modify. You will find delay soft option is picked. Pick the region icon to set the sketch as auto region. Now edit it again. Close the window. Access. Make an extrude cut operation. Change the values. OK. Add new sketch again. Create a ready sketch text. Define an origin and input the text. This kind of text is curved geometry. So we can just type ready sketch test. Then define the size. OK. Access sketch. So this text sketch could be extruded. Define these parameters to get the solid model. Done. For trace profile, what is the advantages? Let's see. Redefine the first sketch. Turn on the dimensions and modify them. The radius is 70. Set auto region. Do it again. Now the trace profile is auto region. Add the width dimension. Set it as 80. The radius of the left circle is 30. Close the window. Also set auto region. 
do that again. Back to modeling environment. So now you can see the model is updated. Okay, the next part comes to dimension and constraint. We will introduce how to add constraint and dimension, toggle dimension, how to link dimension with variables, and solve conflicted constraints. I'll show you a case. In this file, there are two variables and an existing sketch. Edit this sketch. Firstly, check configuration. Pick these options. OK, apply. Click Add Constraints. Select this line and arc and choose Tangent Constraint. Horizontal Constraints. Make these two lines perpendicular and same for these two. Add Dimension. The length of this line is 35. This one is 45. Add angular for these two lines. Make it 110 degree. Add radius for this arc. Define it as 35. This circle's radius is 12. Continue to add more constraints. These two lines have the same length. And so does these ones. arc length for this arc. Make it 80. And define this line and this arc as tangent constraint. Oh, the sketch is displayed in red color. If you exit sketch, a message will pop up. What's going on? Just click no first. I'll tell you the answer later. In the History Manager, the sketch is marked in red color. It means that this sketch has conflicted constraint. Now let's see how to solve this problem. Redefine it. Inquire constraint status. Red color means overdefined. Click this button to get unsolved constraints and dimensions information. Tangent constraint, equal constraint, arc length. For any dimension, we can toggle it or erase it. Now toggle arc length. At this time the sketch is good and the tangent constraint does work. Let's continue to define this sketch. Add concentric for this arc and circle. Define these two points with the same Y position. Add horizontal distance for them. Make it 40. Check the sketch again. See? It is well defined now. Axis sketch. It is OK in the History Manager. For these variables, how to define the link relations? Let's check it out. Redefine the sketch. Double click this radius dimension. Click this button to select variables. In this dialog, select the right file and the needed variable. Click OK. The radius value is updated. It is 15. 
take this angular dimension, do the same operation, select the angle variable to finish. Then this geometry is updated. Return to modeling environment. When editing the value of variable, make the value of radius 20. Then the sketch is automatically updated. Modify the angle value, make it 125. Also, the sketch will be automatically updated. Next, let's see some sketch skills. First, use curve connectivity command to check the sketch is closed or open. Second, use copy and paste to reuse sketch. Third, we locate the sketch with a command on the right menu. Now, let's make a new file. Name it sketch skill. Create a basic geometry like block. Set the length as 800. The width is 400. Insert a sketch. Pick the XY datum. In this sketch, we can directly import an image and get some curve information. To see it clearly, let's change the curve attribute. Make it black color. OK, Axis Sketch. You can see the sketch is located on the bottom surface. Now, from the right menu, we can relocate it. Define the new plane. Up direction. And original point. Next, do extrude operation. Extrude this sketch from 0 to 2 mm. When you scroll down, you can see on the command panel, these settings are inactive. It means that this sketch is not closed geometry. Let's check the result. In History Manager, there are so many surfaces information, not solid geometry. Redefine the sketch to check what the problem is. Show target to see clearly. Choose Inquire and click Curve Connectivity. The check result is shown in the output window. Two are matched, zero overmatched, and they are marked in the sketch. These two endpoints are not connected. Use Blend command to create a connecting curve. Select these curves and use default settings. Trim both, both long, then click OK. This is blend curved. Now we can check it again. Zero unmatched and zero overmatched. This is the closed geometry, and this model is updated. It has become a solid part. How to use the sketch? Firstly, enter the sketch environment. Press Ctrl and C to copy it. Define the base point. Create a new file. Name it Reuse Sketch. Insert a sketch. Use Ctrl and V to paste it. This operation is very easy to do, even between different files. In the end, let's do an exercise to get familiar with sketch feature.
create a new sketch file. Step 1. Use line command to create some needed reference lines. First, horizontal line. Then the second one. And the third one. These are vertical lines. First, second, third, and fourth. In the first step, we don't need to care about the detail distance. Next, add some constraints. Locate this line in the y direction and this one in the x direction. Add the dimension for others. Let's say 70 for this. This one. Let's say 40. Then this one. 60. Next make it 180 this we set it as 290 then we use drag and drop to directly extend these horizontal lines last operation select them all right click choose toggle type then they have become reference lines step 2 create some basic geometry draw circle and type in the position of center and the radius value this one is located at original point and the radius is 20 a new position radius is 12 second one is 20 do it again radius is 12 and 24 next create the connecting arcs first use the angle method Center is the original point. Radius is 40. Pick pins to define the start angle and end angle. Continue to draw others. Use three point method. First point, second point, and through point. Do this again with the same method. And then this arc uses radius method. Pick two points in this area and set radius as 170. Other two arcs also use three point method. Select the suitable positions. After finish drawing, next step is to trim the geometry. Trim these unneeded arcs. Now step 5. Add the constraints and dimensions. All of the arcs should be tangents. Two bigger arcs are tangent to the horizontal reference lines. Define them one by one.
just pick the arc and add tangent constraint. Go on. Here is the last one. Step 6. Continue to add some other constraints. The center of this circle is located on the third vertical line. Add some dimensions. This arc radius is 24. And that one is 20. The last one is 75. Okay, now let's inquire the status. As it is in green color, it means this sketch is well defined. So we can close the window and see this is the final result. Thank you for your time.